Both. The first man to play Ronald McDonald was Willard Scott, and he was fired due to becoming too overweight, which is ironic because of how often McDonald's gets blamed for making the world obese. Rumor has it that Willard Scott later changed his name to Jared and lost all of his weight eating Subway. Hopefully that's the only thing they have in common. Number 11. 70 million people eat at McDonald's every single day, which is more than the entire population of the United Kingdom. The official number may be a bit lower after the ashamed fat guys who wear costumes to keep going back are accounted for. Number 10. McDonald's is the largest toy distributor in the world with an annual quantity of 1.5 billion toys shipped annually. Every kid in the world could get a toy, although few would want one. What is this thing? Number 9. Over 250 million pounds of ketchup are used by McDonald's every year, which equates to 50 full-size Olympic swimming pools. Heinz recently left McDonald's after 40 years of partnership, as their CEO is on the board of directors for an arguably even more disgusting restaurant, Burger King. Number 8. While 119 countries from across the world have access to a McDonald's restaurant, 40% of those stores are in the United States alone. I don't have proof, but you'll just have to take this guy's word for it. And this guy. And this guy. Number 7. The book Fast Food Nation claims that the golden arches are more recognizable than the cross. It's a bit hard for the church to keep up when McDonald's is open all 7 days a week, including Sundays. Number 6. The iconic golden arches logo is actually white in Paris, France to coincide with other lights on the street, making McDonald's an even more popular honeymoon destination for the most romantic city in the world. Number 5. In America alone, McDonald's customers eat 1 billion pounds of beef every year. Since the trademarked McDonald's meat contains a small part of animal mixed with 90% pink slime doused in ammonia, it's hard to tell if this number means a billion pounds of cow or a billion pounds of... stuff. Number 4. Employees tried to raise their wages to $15 an hour after claiming the $7.73 they were receiving wasn't enough to live on. McDonald's responded with a financial planning tool showing how the staff could indeed survive on their current wage. The solution was met with backlash as the chart severely devalued what the actual cost of health insurance was and didn't include the price of a monthly heating bill. Unless the CEOs think health coverage is as simple as a Big Mac a day keeps the doctor away, they've got some explaining to do. Number 3. San Francisco recently banned the sale of Happy Meals unless they meet a minimum health criteria, which is insane because nobody goes to fast food restaurants expecting to eat well. The toys are also banned unless a child's parents add 10 cents to their Happy Meal purchase, which is probably a 1000% profit over what the assembly line workers are paid for making them. Number 2. In 2013, McDonald's earned slightly more revenue than the entire state of Vermont. Bright lights, big cities, yes, that Vermont. That may not be too surprising of a fact as the state is a gigantic mass of nothing. Number 1. Also in 2013, McDonald's spent $988 million on advertising, which is more than double what Mitt Romney spent on his 2012 presidential campaign. For that much money, he could have eaten Big Macs every day for the rest of his life, legally changed his name to Mick Romney,